Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Moonstone Matriarchy, a um, girl power campaign with a bunch of sexy women that are strong and independent. And I forgot where I was going with this, both inside and outside of the game. OK, um, I'm Jessica. I go by I Sneeze Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram and I don't know, places. And um, I will run you through the games that we have on our channel. I'm doing really well tonight. Uh, Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures uh, at 7.30 p.m. EST, a D&D campaign that I also DM. Uh, Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. EST, we have a Shadowrun campaign called State of the Union that both Katie and myself are in as players and our lovely tech man uh, who will be um, running two of our characters today because I can't keep things straight tonight. Um, he's in that too. Yeah, that's Daniel. Um, and then Thursday nights for the next two Thursdays, we have the Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST. And then they are done. The campaign has been completed and it is no more, which is sad, but good. Um, Friday nights at 10 p.m. EST, we have uh, the Legends of Carlos, a TTRPG created and dm'd by uh Talarius game master and tonight obviously we have the moonstone matriarchy three saturdays a month um that is all i am done talking katie for the love of god please <laughs> hi i'm katie i'm dungeon mistress katie and all of the things um <clears throat> as jess said i am here also on tuesdays um, on every other Wednesday and Sundays, I am on uh, Shadows of Nox playing Cthulhu on Sundays and Power Rangers every other Wednesday. Um, if I'm not doing this, I'm probably singing someplace or doing burlesque or both, sometimes both, Just coming up here both. Um, and uh, but yeah, and tonight I'm going to be playing Rosalind Delara, um, the party's Aladrin rogue who wants to stab someone tonight so really it's just been a week of me wanting to stab things because i know that on tuesday i was pretty stabby too um so hopefully i get to stab things tonight uh juniper go <laughs> me uh hello i am juniper i'm linen and spice most places on the internet uh, primarily at the moment you can find me on threads and tiktok um where i talk about all sorts of things from autism chronic illness disability um yeah a bunch of stuff Tonight I am playing Clover, who is a tabaxi little house cat cleric um, who is kind of the party's um, cat herder, I guess, despite being a cat herself. Um, yeah, if you want to see me other places, I play Alien and Naturally Shattered on the first and third Sunday of the month over on Shattered Tabletop Games. I will throw to Star. 
Hi, I'm Star. I go by Star Mama C on TikTok. Everywhere else you can find me as Characters Without Stories because that is the name of my podcast where I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. Uh, tonight, as every night, I will be playing Cappy, uh, everyone's favorite elf turned bunny with the mama drama to spare. And I am a wild magic sorcerer, Heron Gone, and I'm going to pass it over to Scarlet. Hello, I'm Scarlet, your resident dragon maker. Uh, you can find me on my Twitch channel where I do actual plays, including tomorrow I'll be running an Out of the Abyss campaign. And I'm here every Saturday, and I also have a game on most Fridays. Uh, I'm also on TikTok, and you can uh, get my merch and my art at, on my Etsy and at scarlet.com. Uh, has everybody gone? Okay, so. passing it to Jess. Okay. Uh, wait, we have to do our what's that thing called? The recap. Who's on recap duty? I didn't even look. That was Let's me. Look. That's you. Okay, that Juniper. Me. Yeah. Please take it away. Okay. Uh, last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, Cappy shares a kiss with her betrothed, Fleety, the Archfey of Yulstus, after he temporarily removes her curse and returns her to her elf form for a few minutes. Anemone starts looking into the radiant go dragon goddess Orleans, who probably has something to do with her golden radiant eye. Rosalind learns that her friendly will-o'-wisp Val is only a fragment of the soul of her childhood friend. And Delphra sets up a date with Grimm to go blow up some buildings. After yet another cutlery-related incident, Delphra and Cappy's mother Maisie duke it out, leading to Delphra being swiftly knocked unconscious. Cappy then confronts Maisie about why she sold her to Fleety as an unborn child and isn't satisfied with Maisie's explanation that she didn't know she was pregnant when she struck the deal. After silencing the room, Maisie further shares that she broke down after her husband's death and distanced herself from her new child so that it wouldn't hurt as much when she had to hand her over. She shares her plan to kill Fleety and nullify the deal once she's strong enough, but Cappy tells her in no uncertain terms that she's already lost her as a daughter. And that's where we find ourselves now, debriefing amongst ourselves as we make our way down towards the crypts. Wonderful. Amazing. Thank you. You sound like a news anchor and I love it. Um, <laughs> uh, so you guys have made it to the crypts where i believe you came in as um as oswald was finishing his breakfast uh what would you like to do he sees you he stands um puts away the plate and is like uh welcome everyone please come in yes which way to the crypts <clears throat> so it is just down here um he walks over kind of like eyeing you guys suspiciously for a second like the vibes are off um which he knows just what just happened but like i guess being more like is everything gonna be okay vibes um you see him go into one, like a desk, take out a like a huge ring of these keys and um, beckon you to follow him down a winding dark corridor that he doesn't seem to need any light for. There is barely any at all. But I think you all have night vision. So like you guys all have dark vision. So no, uh, the rabbit does not have dark vision. No, I'm going to cast so dancing weird. lights and bring some, some lights around with me. Yeah. So that... That uh, lights up the place. He brings you down this twisting corridor um, and you go through a couple of these um, really heavily built wooden doors um, until he stops in front of one that looks like it is, it may not have been opened in a very, very, very long time. He goes, so... Everyone is prepared. We are okay to go. Yes, okay. Yes, we can ah. be. Okay, good um good talk, guys. And um he <laughs> will unlock the door. Uh you hear it like 
the lock itself sounds a little bit rusted as he's like jiggling it and trying to get it to move. Um, and eventually it clicks open and you hear this massive like clunk clunk that echoes. And he swings open the door and it is pitch black. And give me um give me a perception check. If I send my lights down the hallway a little bit ahead I of can. us? 17. 17. Six. Six. Um, you know what? With Cappy sending her lights down <clears throat> the hallway, um, you watch them as they kind of almost get swallowed. Um, that darkness that you guys walked here in yeah, the first sure. time yeah. around lives in the basement of this castle, It look, it feels like. Magic darkness get... is the bane of all of our existences as like magical dark... darkness. Yeah. Dark, dark, dark uh vision users. <sighs> hey, the um, DM has to foil our racial abilities yeah, somehow. You're not wrong. I just <laughs> you know too many people get dark vision in this game. It's it's so funny. So we got it's magical not that darkness. bad, and it's not like it's completely dark. Which, yeah. like, magical darkness does completely blind you. It's just that it's all in, like, it's it's encompassing. It is almost stamping out the light, but you still are able to see maybe 10 feet in front of you at a time. Um, so, he looks at you all and he goes, uh, good luck. Oh, I was just about to Thanks. ask you to wish us luck. Yes, I, I wish you the very best of luck, Aror, and um, you should, if you make it through, be able to... Well, I am... Listen, you know that it is dangerous. I don't know what you want from me. I'm just saying if... Uh, if if we you make, make it through, through I wish... Uh, you will we'll be definitely... fine, sister. We've had extensive conversations on what to expect out there. So we'll be fine. <laughs> That's fair. It just, it was very ominous. Like, if you make it through, <laughs> like, no. My apologies. I did not mean to doubt <clears throat> your capabilities. Um, I wish you the best of luck. You should be lifted out of there magically should you reach the end when you have ob ob uh, obtained your goal. Oh, good. I figured you'd probably lock the door behind us anyways. I am, yes. It is a Oof. barrier, so run along. No, no turning back. <laughs> run along. <laughs> run along, <laughs> little moonlings. Run along. Oh, wait, uh, run along, little moonlings. Before yes. I go, uh, I'm going to unhitch my uh, teacup holster that has like three very beautiful but very different looking <clears throat> teacups, like latched on. I don't want this to get broken while I'm down there. Will you please keep this safe for me till I get oh, back? Oh, yes, of course. He Thank holds on to it. Him. I, I look at <laughs> I look at Rosalind like is there what's, what's going on? Yeah, there's something going on there. Yeah, I you watch him for a second, examine the team. Honestly, I really did. I I I, I just <laughs> just I feel like up against the character, Scarlet. I was so <laughs> giggling, but uh, I was so hoping that was going to turn into Sin going before we go and then like grab Kim. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Was like, that's not what I was yeah. Like, yeah. Moment, like before I leave, look, slow I burn. Never come back. Slow, slow burn. burn. I never come back. Slow burn. <laughs> slow burn. <laughs> this is going to be the theme of this entire campaign. When does she kiss him? <laughs> when does she I'm kiss gonna him? Say, Weren't they? I'm going to fake you out so many times now. It's now going to be a game. Oh, like, it's like in the worst of Like, oh, she did it already? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> uh, he, you see him admire your teacups for a moment. Um, and then when you guys Is that a have. Euphemism? It sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> the three teacups that were just given to him. Admiring your teacups, eh? <laughs> hey, they are very hey, elegant point that teacups. Out of pillow. Uh, take care of my rounded little yep <laughs> i mean they're shaped the right way so. oh my gosh <laughs> are they they can be they can be not to but mention like, they're in a level I mean, they're flat on the top I mean... they're flat on the bottom but like if you turn them over and they're they're generally pretty you know what yeah here, okay it's yeah, not a perfect I analogy think... No, mm. it actually is a perfect analogy. I think that <laughs> Sin has teacup. She's teacup size. 
He's, um, oh, that woke me. The door right slams up. <laughs> behind you, and there's a large clunk clunk as, a, as it locks again. Um, oh, no. And you begin your descent into the bowels mm. of the spire, um, entering the catacombs of shadowed depths. Um, a subterranean labyrinth um so as you travel and traverse this labyrinth um the architecture begins to morph into this twisting passage of like cryptic chambers they just seem to like you could definitely go in there if you wanted but the vibes are bad the vibes are bad down here i'm not even gonna make you roll the vibes are not where you want to be um mm-hmm. What do you do as you awesome. make it ten feet by ten feet in this darkness? Can I roll to see if, like, if I can feel like actual, like a presence of something versus just the vibes are off? But like hearing, like maybe maybe roll to hear if there's something moving in the darkness. I guess that's really what I'm looking for. So roll me. Um, I guess that would be per- perception. That would be perception. You're just listening. So yeah. While she rolls, oh uh, I think Sin would be imparting all of like the knowledge she gained of the crypts from mm-hmm. talking to Oswald. Uh, I think it, I don't remember everything that we talked about because that was so many weeks ago. But um, mostly just there's probably going to be spirits down here. We have the full green light to defend ourselves. So, you know, don't worry about offending anybody when we you know kill the ghosts of the people they care about uh you know and was there any other like tidbits i can't remember was there like any Mm -hmm. features that were unique to the um he did tell you that there was when you get to the end there will be this massive door that you kind of have to like a puzzle yeah yeah um and that's probably where uh like once you stop moving that's probably where a lot of the spirits will come to you right so we'll have to defend while our brilliant minds i look at uh cappy and clover are going to solve the puzzle uh and we'll a wizard he also um, so good at the puzzles oh (laughs) Uh, (laughs) he also reminded you that there are um a bunch of traps that you guys are going to want to try and avoid down here Okay. Uh, traps but like you know that would be Rosalind's area of expertise would it not it would be yeah but unfortunately while you were uh while she was listening you were talking and she didn't hear anything uh, upcoming um oh. so because well, she rolled a seven <laughs> yeah no i rolled very poorly that's two under can 10 I perceptions using... in a row oh that sucks um yeah i don't know if ghosts smell at all but can i just be like using my sense of smell to try and get an edge on perception down here especially because we can't see anything past 10 feet yeah sure i'll give you i'll give you advantage on a perception if you want i, I would like to point out cold, like that the cold like if there's a shift for imperceptible shift in coldness if that makes sense it does make sense. I, I would like to point out that I have the Eldritch Invocation of Devil's Sight, mm-hmm. which allows me to look through magical darkness as well. Um, I understand that like there's story reasons for it being dark in here. I'll say that you actually do see a hell of a lot more than they do. I think that I because of that, I would be kind of taking the lead in our marching order to kind of try and f- navigate this maze uh, that we're going through. Um, And I still feel like the fact that it is like magical darkness, despite the fact that I can see through it, doesn't make it any less unnerving because I, this is a, this is a gift from uh, Mm -hmm. Nyx, most likely, since it is an Eldritch invocation. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's just the fact that I'm having to rely on it is a little unsettling. Roll me a religion check. Um, And what did you roll? (laughs) What did you roll, Clover? Um, a bit average. I got a 14 perception. A 14? Um, you smell... So you do... I'm going to say you do notice a shift in the temperature as you're going down. Obviously, it is getting colder. It's damper. Um, this The scent down here is just like... It's the scent of age. 
you know, must of damp dust and dirt. Um, but with perception, you hear echoes, things that are, seem like they're moving around you, but you're not really sure where with a 14. Are there any, um, is there any air movement at all? Like, you know, I've, I guess my whiskers might be able to feel any small air currents, um, like in terms of feeling things around us potentially moving. I, let me make a roll. Okay. As you are walking, you get the slightest little brush of something almost touching your whiskers. Ugh. <laughs> what do you I do? I freeze. <laughs> I freeze and just go, Does something just touched me. What? I turn around and look. You guys don't see I... anything. Oh, shh. Um, you're, you you're muted, darling. Whiskers. I know. I literally said, of course you don't, because it's, oh. And I realized I was muted. <gasps> because it's fucking magical <laughs> darkness. We see nothing. No, I don't evil, see anything. Evil, evil. evil. Uh, what was your religion? Roll. Five. A five. <laughs> I'm totally so good with this fucking. I'm Never not mind. good at these. Yeah, I. Never mind. <laughs> you know, I my my explanation is, I am so dealing with deconstruction that my religious radar is broken. <sighs> yeah. Um, I definitely should have been. I should have put myself proficient in that, but I did not. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I love this cat. Uh, Not listening to such the a whole pain. stay at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you so much. I have to lock my, I have to close my door. And sometimes they still manage to open it. We, our place magic. is like open plan. There is nowhere to lock him. There is nowhere to lock him. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, like, ma'am, why are you yelling at me? Uh, <laughs> what did it feel like? over i i i don't know something just brushed the tips of my whiskers i did uh, not like it there's uh cappy something hmm. touches your nose it's like a small <clears throat> boop isn't almost, your boyfriend it like. <laughs> yeah boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Um, your fucking boyfriend. Boop. That's not you, Fleety, is it? Uh, didn't think so. No, yeah, I don't see, get a response. I see. I saw Jess's face. That's definitely Fleety. <laughs> you don't get a response <laughs> at all. Um, you can roll. I'm like, what would be? What would be feeling connected to him? I don't know if you do yet. I don't know if you do feel that connection. Is that an yet. Arcana? Would that be Arcana? I don't know. I, I have Arcana. 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 Yeah, you know banana. what? It would be Arcana because he's kind of what helped you get your magic. Arcana banana sounds like a, sounds like a crossover <laughs> that needs drawn. Just Arcana banana. It sounds like a like a, a boogie band, doesn't it? Uh, it does. <laughs> My friend was just uh, going uh, Hannah Montana. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is now a an banana. actual band in this world. Arcana Hashtag banana. Arcana banana. Arcana banana. Uh, they're kind of jazzy. <laughs> kind of jazzy but like upbeat they all wear like hawaiian t-shirts it is yeah all, like, and like it's, all, it's, all, it's all and they like to do acapella as well like it's, it's like in between yeah. D, but it's funk but it's this oh my god yeah yeah yeah. Nice. I, we need to make i, I want to make our can of banana into the, banana. in the world i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna okay New make, just make it make my, it happen my our can of banana was banana. seven <laughs> your can of banana. banana you don't so feel them at all you don't feel him at all. Um, <laughs> there's no, there's no little bits of frost. Like sometimes when he plays these tricks on you, like you feel that little bit of like a like a cold nose from being out in in the winter, and there's nothing of that. It's cold and it's damp, but it's wet. It's not, it's not fleety. And then there's a little tug on your ear. Stop fucking touching me, whoever you are. Can I stab it? No, I'm kidding. And a push behind you. 
as you kind of stumble forward just a little bit. Is it a what, what I would a, turn what around a staff out? Be? Yeah, just, what, just sweep. What would a what? What would a good in-game like swear be that we would use? <laughs> like instead of a god's damn, that sounds too. But the light tricky. of the moon. <laughs> no, like what in moon's <laughs> rear end is? <laughs> what the moon's <laughs> rear end? <laughs> What in the moon's is there a dusty, equivalent here? dusty hole? <laughs> what in the is... crack of the moon? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah that's oh, what I was thinking. Oh, I like yeah, that one. Yeah, Dark cool. side of the Dark moon. Who the, who the anemone the just ne- fucking lets one rip? Just who the <laughs> neck? Wait, who the Nixaria <laughs> is bothering us? She's like, you I'm trying to get my drink. I'm like, uh, did you just go? Uh, is that the implication we're going with? <laughs> Uh, is it a Luna's damned poltergeist? No, I'm <laughs> workshopping it. I'm workshopping it. You're, you're workshopping it. Um, yeah, we'll get I that. Mean, you don't see anything. <laughs> what are you doing to check? Oswald did um, warn us. I I just want to like turn around as soon as I feel that push. I have a quarter staff, so I just uh-huh. want to turn around and sweep the staff behind me just to see if I hit anything. Um, roll me a d20. Tell me what you get. Make me roll straight d20 instead of on my character sheet. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, 19. Woo! 19. You do hit something. It <gasps> is like the corner of a wall as you just flail around in this tight kind of corridor. And smack your staff. You hear a scraping of the wall. And then a laugh somewhere off in the distance. Is it a laugh we recognize? Roll me. I guess that would be insight to see if you realize that that's a person. But realize that that's a... Is this going to be under 10? Yep. What the fuck is wrong with... Okay, listen. That's the You're just, you know, no, the vibes are off. The house the roller. That's three in a row. Um, ten. I got a five. Can we? You know can what? a few of us do inside on this one? Is there oh, a way? Yeah, you reset? guys all heard it. Oh, sweet. Like, <clears throat> I'm. I'm starting to wonder if there is an actual problem with it because that's bizarre to have three in a row. Four 13. in a row. Um, what the fuck? Honestly, Clover, it kind of sounds like War's laugh. Mm. We're gonna do. We're, we're gonna do physical dice going forward. You know that War's off. War, war's laugh. War, oh war. shit, war! <laughs> oh fuck! Sorry, I was like, I have not heard the name wars off before. Yeah, um, war, like wars, like a yeah, a laugh. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. What do you? What does that mean? Are we supposed to know what that means? Clover knows what that means. Oh okay. Um, um, who else got something? Oh, I just I got a five. You got a five. I, it's laugh. It's laugh. It's not, to you, Clover, that sounded very menacing, very much like someone that you've been trying to avoid your entire life. Ooh. Yeah. If uh, if Clover had visible skin, she would be super pale right now. But instead, I just think you see um, just a look of Rippling. horror on her the face. Hackles. The hackles. Yes, the hackles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. there's like She's your, like your fur up. is rippling, you know. Ooh. I immediately. Yes, I have just, goosebumps. I have <laughs> so <sorry>. dare you. <laughs> I no, immediately draw God. an arrow, uh, yeah. and start like looking around, and I'm going to hold an action. You start looking around. You draw this arrow, and for a second, you feel someone push it. Like, yeah. like it's a like it's a game. It's a joke. Can I release my arrow immediately at the direction of whoever pushed it? A hundred percent. I'm gonna uh, roll yeah. roll to hit. Okay ready with daggers two i got a 13 the 13 you hear it you release this arrow you see it go off and then you hear it land with a clunk 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 as it skids across the floor and then that laughter fills this corridor like it's everywhere it is loud it is m- it is haunting, and then more start to join in with it. Hey, I immediately cast Armor of Agathis on myself. 
<laughs> you cast armor of Agathus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. And then you hear whispers, and they're all different whispers, different voices, saying the same thing at the same time. Little moonlings shouldn't be in this place. Little moonlings don't belong here. Where are you from, little moonlings? Why are you here? What are you doing? Show what yourself. You Laughter. Little moonlings, we're going to get lost down here. Little moonlings are going to die and join us. We will play with the little moonlings. So it's out. If we're going to die, let's just keep going. This is ridiculous. I am so over it. <laughs> Tell me. They haven't harmed us yet. So hopefully. They have not harmed Hopefully if we just yet. keep going, we can ignore them. Maybe. She's still fluffed up though. You're fluffed up. You continue walking. Um, and as you're walking, give me, give me, um, Perception or Arcana? Twenty. Dirty. Nineteen. Arcana? Maybe there mm -hmm. isn't something wrong. <clears throat> and you? Na Nineteen Arcana. Arcana? Okay. Anyone else? Eighteen. Perception. Perception. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, you're walking. Some, You guys... As you're walking, you feel like you're getting closer and closer together. Like there's less and less space down here. And for a second, you're kind of like, that's not like, how are, why are the walls closing in on us? This is getting claustrophobic. And then you take a second and Cappy, what do you do for this Arcana check? And Roz, what do you do? Like, how is it, what is it that you're doing to get this Arcana check? I think, um, I wiggle my nose like a rabbit. <laughs> you wiggle your nose. Yeah. Just trying to tap into that bit of fleas magic. Um, and you feel him for just the briefest second. And you look around, and the, the walls aren't really there. Uh, and you, Clover, you, you go. As you're walking, you're looking and you're like, just for the briefest second out of the corner of your eye, it disappears. Where you guys have been being kind of pushed together and herded together, there's actually nothing there. And you're in darkness. There's big open space. You go and I try to stick a pole through. Yeah. To try and like, there. uh, perhaps we should spread out a little bit. If there's illusions like this making us feel like it's closing in, if we spread out, then it'll be harder to to do that, right? Is there a place to spread yeah. out? Poof? I just mean like instead of like walking like yeah. all tight, like just kind of give it a little Take bit a of step, space. Find out. Us. What do you do? Okay. Yeah, we can like put some space in between us. Are we like, is the corridor we're walking through like single file? It was becoming that way. Okay. You guys were having to become single file and then you realize that there's nothing there and there's no reason for you not to spread out and walk side by side. I take a step halfway through the wall like not not full body through the wall just kind of halfway to see if I can do it you begin to feel a little bit of like you feel magic you feel something go through you but you walk through it nothing happens to you I just kind of turn so, back and look at my sisters well I don't guess I guess we weird. can So here's how you're going to get through down here. As the entire time, by the way, you guys have been walking and hearing these voices talk to you and hearing them say things like, don't worry, we'll take care of you when you don't, you won't leave. You'll be happy down here. Like just some weird shit. Um, you need to make 
six successful skill checks and you need to tell me how you are getting through this because as you begin to walk and go through these go through this place that you doesn't seem to end suddenly there is a wall in front of you suddenly you can touch it and that came out of nowhere and you have to like maneuver through this labyrinth together what is it that you are doing and i'm gonna have each dan's gonna roll um or decide how anemone and uh delphra do your, their checks so you guys are only um responsible for one uh i have an idea for mine um can i just ask quickly first what is the floor that we're walking over it varies between cobblestone and dirt okay um if I can, I'd like to do a survival check um, to because if these if these crypts, I would imagine that some uh, that it would be some parts of the floor would be more worn than others, even just in terms of the dirt or the cobblestones, just having slightly more wear patterns on them than others. Mm -hmm. um, does that make sense? It does. Yes, make me a survival check. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm using my Clover D20 for this. Come on. Fuck me. <laughs> That's a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. That was really, like, you guys come to, like, this um, almost like a a path, a fork in the road kind of thing um, where you can go left or you can go right. And Clover, for some, for whatever reason, is like, nah, this, the left way, that is definitely... That's the way we gotta go, guys. She runs um, the wall. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> and as you take that left path and begin to walk down it, suddenly there's this door in front of you that looks really fucking familiar. Are we at the beginning? Is this the Lost Woods? It does. It does seem like you are at the door <laughs> that you just came through. I came know through. the strategy, guys. Every time we go to a doorway, we listen, and if you hear, that's the way. <laughs> if you don't hear it, it's not the way. <laughs> what reference I, am I missing? Um, by the way, I don't know. The Ocarina reference. of Time, mm. Legend of mm -hmm. Zelda. Um, <laughs> with prestidigitation, I can mark places with a like mm -hmm. a symbol. You can, and it lasts an hour. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, so I'd like to do that as we travel, just kind of like mark where we've been, so that if we, um, you know, double back at all, we know that we. Where are it. you marking them? Um, on the floor. The floor seems like the most stable. Okay, so perfect. Every now and then, like every maybe 10 feet, you put down this color splotch. Oh, hang on. You can only do three of those. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not doing it like every 10 feet. Okay. I think, um, I, I think maybe like every 60 feet or something. Every 60 feet. Okay. Yeah. 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 100%. Who wants then, to make an, a check next, though? So can I do one to help? Um, I have these like visions of labyrinth where mm -hmm. the little creatures come up and change the marks so that or like hide the marks, like flip over the, the cobblestone uh -huh. so that's not there anymore. Can I do an arcana check to keep whatever keep that from happening, if that makes sense? Because in my brain I just hear I just the chaos goblin that how you have in your magically, brain. Magically how magically would you do that? I feel like I would how magically would I do that? How would you do that? Uh, I didn't think about it, that part. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I would maybe, as she marks them, I would... It's not magic, though. So I guess maybe not Arcana. But I just have... What do, you, what do you want to do? I want to... Um, almost like if there's, if there's something... Does it make sense for me to like 
hit it so that it like impact it into the ground so it can't be moved does that make sense so it's magic but it's, what i can say yeah. okay well, here's what you do you get down and you um you start carving into the center of them as well oh, so that hey, there that is works. an extra little okay. bit yeah, um with good. your dagger mm -hmm. um and i'll make that that's that's something that you do so that you don't lose the path and that's okay. not even uh, i'm gonna say that's not a check though oh, okay all right because i mean uh, I unless you know what that's we'll say that's survival it's okay. a good survival skill roll me a survival check uh, plus three i'm gonna use my okay so that is a 15 so 15 that's that's good okay perfect you actually you made the dc um <laughs> we're we're doing great um as you go down and you go to um the the third one that she's about to place you go down to like start carving into the floor there into the dirt or the stone that you're walking on you realize that this is kind of there's already an outline here and maybe you shouldn't maybe you shouldn't carve here and with your skills as a rogue you realize that it's a pressure plate <gasps> oh. and you guys are able to jump past it yeah and get past it without setting it off i um, don't want to do this but my goblin brain was like maybe we're really down and I just push it and like i don't want to do i that, don't want to but... do this but my goblin brain really wants to push the button <laughs> it <Yeah>. scared me <laughs> the red button the red button effect uh but yeah perfect awesome. though you get past it no problem and you know cappy you put down that magic mark a little bit further past that so that you don't um you don't step there next time um anemone yes <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing She's doing the sand dance. Yeah. The sand walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, roll me our acrobatics. <clears throat> I get that reference, even though I've not actually seen Dune. <laughs> it's pretty good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. It good. is pretty good. Perfect. So Anemone is after that pressure plate. She gets a little nervous. She starts going forward. You see her tap, 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 tap. And then there is a part where the floor falls away. And you have a five foot hole that seems to just go down into nothing. And you guys get past mm -hmm. that. Who wants to go next as you continue? Um, I'll go. Um <laughs> Trying to figure out ways to use my charisma based skills for this. Um, okay. I think what I would like to do is talk to the spirits a little bit. Persuade um, them. Yeah. You so, want to persuade the spirits? Yeah. So I, I want to say, um, gosh, it would, <laughs> it would really be too bad if we died this soon. Less time to play with us. Perhaps you can show us our way. Roll me, roll me persuasion. 17. 17. You hear a little giggle. <laughs> I like the fluffy bunny. The fluffy bunny makes me happy. Kid ghosts are so creepy, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little pull on your whisker. They make me sad. Yeah. They and it's enough. So sad. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> enough that you uh, you manage to like kind of veer to the right for a second, and this this kind of swinging blade seems to come down out of nowhere and then disappears. Like it wasn't actually there. 
you think, you hope. I'd have shorter whiskers, at least. Careful, fluffy bunny. <laughs> Did they always sound like children? Nope. Just this one. Right? Just this one. Just <gasps> this one. Are they trying to deceive us? Probably. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing to do. Uh, oh. Who wants to go next? Yes. Do I have... Is Val with me? Uh, you hear... You see little... Val is with you. She is in your hair. But she's... Every now and then there's a little tinkle. And she seems like she's scared. There's a little shiver. And she <laughs> hides close to your neck. Oh, I just figured the dead can probably talk to the dead. And, you know, she's the dead. So. Mm -hmm. And she seems very uncomfortable down here. Uh, Delphra? Yes. Can you? <laughs> just break some Explosions! shit. Explosions! We have yeah, her on Just throw leash. forks at everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, not fireball. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. Yes, you can argue that that's an <laughs> arcana check. Go ahead. <laughs> bam, 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 bam! That's Delfro. <laughs> yeah. 21. Delfra at some point is just done with being in the dark and bam, 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 bam fire here, there, everywhere. And you see everything kind of light up for a second you realize there's a dead end ahead of you and then no no there's not there's just there's a little sliver where you can turn to the right and continue <laughs> down that way and you do all right aurora and clover fine what do we do I don't have a lot of useful things I can do but I think I'm going to cast my mage hand which is going to look like a little, like, it'll be like a dark purple with, like, little stars in it. Um, and then I'm going to cast light on my mage hand so that okay. it glows very brightly. And I'm going to use it to, like, spider skitter across the floor to kind of, like, test the walls in front of us and to <clears throat> try to, like, kind of, like, similar to what Delphra is doing about pelting the walls to see what's a real wall, what's an illusion. It's just kind of testing the area. It it's like my blind walking stick essentially okay okay uh, so uh, you want to do an arcana check for that as well no because i don't have good arcana uh i'm looking at the <laughs> skills i do have that are good okay uh how are how are we skewing this <laughs> i i have good deception uh i could try and lie to the spirit <laughs> <laughs> do you want to lie to the spirits? What are you, yeah. what are you saying? Tell so me how you are doing this. So yeah, so this is where I'm kind of like torn up. I'm because I have good deception. However, I Scarlet am like, what? What would I say to deceive them? That isn't the wrong answer. Uh, I guess I could try to make myself look like a fairy, scary spirit smasher, and that you don't want to mess with us. Cause okay. we're gonna. I'm looking. I've got Agatha's armor on me. Um, uh -huh. I have my beautiful moon darkness bow, and I'm ahead. And I'm just. I don't know. I'm. I don't think I need words for this okay. deception. Roll just, me. <laughs> yeah, I, roll me deception. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to. It's like a deceptive intimidation, right? Oh God. <laughs> do you want to do intimidation or deception? You tell me. What did you get? Uh, eight. <laughs> An eight. <laughs> it's happening? not working. Nothing. You... I, my spider oh, thing no. is missing. No. Oh, no. Ghosts are fucking with our dice rolls. No. You guys. No. So trying to be intimidating and and scare away the spirits. Um, Aurora dons 
a visage of Nyx. Oh! And you hear laughter. Uh. And suddenly there's this massive shove and a push. And I'm not going to be so mean because you guys came so close. Um, I get shoved a lot around anyway. So yeah, all of you get this push as you take uh, 3d6 necrotic damage. Ah. That's and oh, they... And you get pushed backwards. Um, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna make I'm not gonna make you start from the beginning, which is originally what I wrote, but I am gonna make you uh I'm gonna make you have to do another check to go through this. Um and I let me roll the damage for you. We can say maybe that my little marks kept us from going all the way back this time. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, you... girls. That was my highest roll that I had, and I rolled a three on the die. <laughs> You Shit guys are happens. Gonna take 13 necrotic damage as oh you seem to God. have angered these spirits. Okay, they don't like Nyx, oh, or at least they find a blasphemous. Yeah. Pretender, Ooh. false Ooh. blasphemy. Oh, They're okay. screaming at you now, and you're getting pulled and and your hair being pulled and little flicks, and like they're not happy with you anymore and the the laughter and they're gonna stay with us has turned to they're gonna stay with us clover what do you do oh. <clears throat> um given the way the spirits have just turned um I think I'd like to make an argument for using insight to get a vibe for, you know, if we turn a certain direction, what the spirit's reaction is. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm guessing they probably don't, I, I'm looking for where they don't want us to go in terms of their reactions to which direction we're going. So again, you come to another fork in the road, you can go left, you can go right. Uh, roll me your insight. Okay, different D20. <laughs> 11. 11. 11. God damn. You go to go right, and there's silence. And you go to go left, and just, just slightly, you hear a little whisper. And that's it. What do you do? You failed the DC, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a 50-50 chance here. Yeah. Um so the can I get any any vibe from the whisper? Like angry whisper, happy whisper, that kind of thing. You get a vibe of anticipation. Uh, and that's that's all I'm going to give you because you've got an eleven. I have a, a question. Mm -hmm. Um, so when we got pushed, uh -huh. mechanically speaking, was a creature attacking me? Was a creature was attacking it, you? Yeah, like mechanically speaking, because I am wearing armor of Agathis. If I get attacked, that reacts. But if it's like more of a magical effect, it doesn't. I'm not going to make you lose your armor for this. I mean, it would it would damage them. It would damage them. But because there are so many down here, you gotcha. damage some. What are you what is it gonna do? Okay, so and I don't want to make it, you lose it that yet. Pull them, okay, so it wouldn't like pull them out of whatever invisibility or whatever they're behaving in their own little stupid way. When you got pushed, I'm going to say your armor did react and you hear, you heard someone, you heard like hiss, a hiss, uh, like a scream, but it didn't. There's, there was another person to take its place in a second. There's another hand on you. There's another force. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to so, clarify. Left or right? Um... I think I'm going to go the direction that there was silence, not the anticipation one. 
Good choice. Good choice. You guys put me down. <laughs> good choice. Good choice. Um, and nothing happens. There's a long stretch of just winding um, corridor and then nothing. And we have our last check, which is Aurora. I have bad stuff. <laughs> Okay. You I I you have to have something that you can I have you know what okay so I have investigation it's not my highest I it's not my best thing but the other stuff is literally like deception and stealth. I'm just going to sneak out of here. I'm just like <laughs> maybe the spirits will How see are us. you going to do this? It, no, tell I'm me just how kidding. You, tell me I'm how to use it. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to use my hand, my ma- my glowing mage hand and investigate to try to navigate us out. Okay, so you're you're investigating. Give me an investigation check. Do we have any rerolls? I got a nat one. Do you have any? Um, do I you do. Have anything that my Christmas present. Do you do have <laughs> your Christmas? Yeah, <laughs> I have a Christmas <laughs> present. I am going to use an a, a actual dice, and I'm going to do it on something so I can show everybody. Guys, don't don't roll the damn D and D Beyond dice. They're they're jerks. That's Good what feeling. I've been rolling, and I hate it. Okay, so. You don't have to show us. I do believe you if you tell me. I got a 12. It's a little bit a 12. better. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Little bit I'm going to say that's a little bit better. It's the dice. I think this is the dice you got me. It's all like moonstone I don't remember. I don't think so. I think I gave everyone a, a, a set of like sparkly dice this is pretty sparkly yeah my, maybe mine are yeah, yeah they're mine not are, uh, they weren't like, like clover colors anything. oh pinkish hmm. maybe maybe they're in the other room then i have so many dice um okay That's weird. so your mage hand skitters in front of you and starts tapping on the walls and tapping on the floor and i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a roll we're gonna see we're gonna see and happens to hit just the right cobblestone and you hear this hollow sound what do you do on the floor there's this hollow sound that seems to go through there yeah i'm gonna like crouch down and carefully like run my fingers over it carefully run your fingers over and it moves just slightly and enough that you kind of move it and you see something underneath it something sharp you realize as you're looking around there are a few of them across this little little uh hallway that will maybe spring load up i look up is there like a spike trap up there it's the floor it's the floor that oh the floor is the spike trap that'll that is the spark track you look up and it's just darkness gotcha Uh, uh so you tell everyone i'm assuming yeah yes 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 i'm gonna like do the hand thing I'm going to be like, um, Rosalind, can you disarm this? I can try. I can certainly try, yeah. Um, um, what would the, what would be good? Give me a sleight of hand check as you use your thieves tools too. 18. 18. Roz is like, this is, this is old news. I've done this like four times already in my life because I don't know how many times this should come up. But um, <laughs> that is four more times than I've done it. <laughs> right. Uh, and you watch as she like pops, pops off the tops and reaches down and <gasps> manages to disarm this spring from just shooting these up into you guys. She does this another like five times and you guys can walk through no problem. Um, she's made you a little path. 
it was <sighs> that's that that good um that's and that's as you useful. as you get past this you move another maybe five minutes in the dark you emerge from this confounding twist it twisted labyrinth with these ghosts touching your back Ugh, um I, into this imposing metal door um so metal so metal um i can't even like get this finger going right now it's just this is what we're doing now so no this is so so arcana banana Arcana banana. <laughs> it's it even perfect. Looks like, it even looks like a banana. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so um, we'll we'll take we. I said we would take a break here, so we'll take a five minute break. If it runs a little bit longer, it runs a little bit longer, um, and then we will uh, come back and do the second part of this. Okay. Uh, All right. No, it's uh, Daniel, because it's D and Daniel. <laughs> Nana! <laughs> <laughs> and be every back. time now. I, I want to draw this as a group now. I, I, yeah, well, I can't same. wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Um, So, you've emerged from this labyrinth. Uh, in front of you is a large metal door. What do you do? I check the door for traps, and then I try to seduce the door. I was about to say seduce the door. <laughs> Do you want to seduce the door? Okay, so tell me how you are seducing the door. Persuasion check. Um, I, I would also like to it. point out that perfect. Gentle I love hand. it. Um, there is something that's about to happen. <laughs> oh no! Uh, as you try to seduce the door, but I would like to point out that there is an actual um, uh, sexy book. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> about the door. I haven't heard of that one, but the weirdest sexy book I've ever heard of is the guy, is it a romance with Canada? Like the ground? <laughs> like like, like they, the, the sex scene is him on the ground no. pumping the dirt. Oh, like, no. no. Canada. That's right up there with like the whole um, oh my God. Exhaust, exhaust pipe. On a car? Oh, that's, oh, I, that's okay. a thing that, that no, that's uh, a thing. That's I know. So, that happens. Yeah, has nobody seen happens. Saltburn? No, I no, I yet. refuse mm-hmm. to watch Saltburn. I don't. Oh, I, somebody said it was like disgusting, and I was like, no, so, I'm good. DM, speaking of, um, of fucking the ground and fucking, how attractive dream. is the store? <laughs> how attractive is the store? <laughs> yeah, this is store it, is have a good to have a good shine on it and like a good. Is it a ten? You know, really what? It is, you know what? I'm gonna say I'm it's so a hard. nine because it's a little rusty, but mm, it, but it's like it is a solidly made door with beautiful engravings that you're just like that is that door Wait. is hot. Oh my god! Press the digitization. I'm gonna make it a ten. It. It's just because it's a little bit out of. Practice. You press the digitize it. It shines. It's a full it's a 10. ten now. Yeah. You, in what? your head, you hear, "Hey, baby." Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> mask. Um, what? Are the engravings <laughs> on the sexy door? Um, <laughs> are they? Let me say, did you actually they... touch the door? I, no, I was joking. Um, <laughs> I was explaining how I would seduce it. I would like, <laughs> like you know, just a little. Like a, uh, but no, I didn't so, touch it. There I are. Look at it first. There are patterns of stars and moons. Um, you get. Um, there's an engraving of Nyx in it. Um, it's like, it's not, they're not runes. But there is a an empty box. Like where an, it, it's been engraved out that there is a box, a shiny, smooth box. What like just kind of a blank like within a the inside- carving? Like, yeah is it like an there's inside? no inside it's just like it's like a it's like a um, frame what do you call it? yes that okay. is the word i was like what are the words that i need please mm-hmm. i have been drinking a far too much. okay so there Damn is it. an empty a blank frame <laughs> uh, and around the frame are symbols of like moons stars nicks and things like that yeah mm-hmm. it's like a giant picture of nicks and then there are gotcha. moons and stars all around her and in where like between her hands 
is that frame. I see. So it looks like something needs to kind of go there, maybe. <sighs> are there any words on the door or is it just pictures? There are not. All right. Do any of you know how can to I... detect magic? Um, I, I can dispel it ever since I got this really cool staff. But unfortunately, I can't detect it. Um, can I roll Arcana, though, to just kind of get a, a magic vibe? I saw on that it? comment. Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> uh, 17. 17. Um, the door is definitely magical. Okay. Um, actually, I mean, with a 17 Arcana, everything down here is magical. Um, okay. But the door itself has a very strong... Is this Magical the door aura. that Oswald might have told me about that's like a puzzle door that we're going to get attacked at when we start puzzling the puzzle door? That is a um, that is an astute Assum <laughs> assumption. Um, yes, that is. That is. I need to not okay. drink while we play games, but I am going to continue. I, so. No, it's please drink. That makes it so much more it's, fun. Please do. Why, <laughs> why not have a straw? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get the lipstick everywhere, dude. My all of my cups have crazy amounts of lipstick. Yeah, it's beautiful it's though. Hard to get you, them off you wear it, dark though. lipstick so well. Thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. Okay. This is where I'm going to turn to uh Cappy and Clover, who I feel like has been the best at solving riddles in this campaign. <laughs> Check your tetanus <laughs> shot. Jesus, mm -hmm. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I read the chat. Chat is unhinged tonight, which is because we Un are. Unhinged. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is what Oswald told me about. There's a puzzle here, a riddle, something. But he also said that as soon as we start getting to work on it, we might be uh, attacked by the denizens in this place so i think um rosalind you and i can watch the back and send off anything that comes our way and our you two brilliant furry sisters can try and perhaps solve this riddle just just before we do that uh i'm just i'm just gonna do something real quick and um clover will use her moonlight surge uh, cleric moon power from Luna um, to do a mass heal of all of us because um, we're all within a 30-foot sphere and any excess healing uh, gets converted into temporary HP for this. So uh, because we all took that, that hit earlier, I'm going yeah. to unleash a moonlight surge. Um, as you do so, quickly. the the room actually does light up, and you notice that the carvings go all around this room. Um, you think maybe that there's, there is like an arm that kind of might be Luna. You get the, like, but it's been cut and scraped away. Um, there are places where there look like there are claw marks, um, and there's a clear demarcation of where you just came from and the metal of this room. Ooh. Okay. That's a bit Sorry, disturbing. going back to the description of the room. So you said it's the same kind of carvings of Luna yeah. and like moons. So and there's stars. Nyx on the door I mean, and Nyx. then like and then there's like there might what you the general depiction of luna you see the beginnings of it but it looks like it's been like scratched away i don't want to drop my drink god damn it um you gotta drink it all really fast so you can't spill it i won't be able to finish the game <laughs> <laughs> oops that, that's a quick skull it and then we can have this combat that should go real well for us <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden we won four we won D &D. four dollars yeah. of pain. Woo. Four dollars. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> by the way, I rolled really well. We all get twenty eight um, mm. hit points. Ooh. Ooh. That's more yeah, than that's my nice. max. That is max, max it, and then too. whatever's left over, you convert into t oh. uh, temporary HP. I yeah. love it. That. It was three D ten. I rolled two tens and an eight. Okay, like, listen, damn. when we rolled. 
when when we started playing, I had a uh, a module that I wrote, and you guys were like level seven, so I made these for that. <laughs> mm. Okay, I will <laughs> happily. Is that take okay that we've my... kept them at that level? Yes, I I would have taken like... them away otherwise, but yeah, no, keep them because cool. I didn't want to like depower depower de 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 you completely. Aww. 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 thank you. I'm still I'm working sorry, on the module, again? by the way. You'll get it eventually. Uh, it 28. 28. 28. So That's subtract. Amazing. Yes. Okay. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I fucking love it. So hmm. you're healed up. Okay. You've got some temporary HP. Uh, Daniel, make sure that you're doing it for the other ones. Um, and did you the um. Uh, the door, the arcana check I did on the door, does it look like, does it seem like a spell that I could dispel or does it seem like more something inherent to the object? You got a 17 or an 18? I got a 17, like I think. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say that with that amount of knowledge, you're pretty much certain that you won't be able to get the door open without the magic. Okay. Um. Judging from context clues, um, so the box is within Nixaria's hands. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything around the room that is like similar size to the box? Like, does it look like we need to put something there, or does it look, or, or perhaps like write something there or draw something there? Like, is there anything? Um, give me investigation. Okay. I and swear to God, I'm at the point of drunk where I feel like this eye keeps going this way um, by itself. It's maybe, not, if that's maybe at all should, helpful. Maybe you should have that's a glass good, of water like so you don't get a migraine later. I have uh, pop. That's Daniel, it. go get Jessica water. <laughs> water. That's in that 20 investigation. <clears throat> you're on water okay. duty, boy. Um, <laughs> Daniel, you're fine. Uh, we'll drink water after the game. I will continue this now. What are we doing? Tw at 20. Hi, thank you. I love you. You're the best. Aww. Good. Aww. Good husband. Drink He's it. The good boy. Drink it. I have some water Drink here, it. actually. I'll Drink finish this it. one first. Now, see, this is how Drink I get it. so many. Drink it. No one ever knows what you miss. <laughs> Listen, one drink, are, you, are you doing the drinking. voice from Dune right now? Because Red drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blue drink. Drink it. The freaking voice <laughs> startles me every time. It's so it mean. Oh, wait, we're talking about the little, like, the people that do that high-pitched, like, whatever voice to make them do what you want. Yeah, the yeah, voice. Yeah. It's like a mind control, but it's like, they do it loud. It's like, it goes, and it's scary. It's like they're commanding you in a mean way. I mean, they I, are. I did yeah, that to are. my wife last night. I, I did that jokingly. <laughs> she went downstairs and got me, got my biscuits for me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, that actually worked. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, are you, are you the quiz out of the <laughs> It's off. <laughs> That's how this is going to work now. <laughs> What's it called? The quinceanera? What? The quiz at Tatarach? <laughs> what? The quiz not. Quiznos, 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 Hatterach. Hey, the Dune words are so unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I am of the Bene Gesserit, and yeah, I am the Quiznos 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 I actually know nothing about what? this <laughs> other than sand and worms. That's yeah, all you need nothing. to know. Sand and worms. Sand, sand, worms. Oh. sand, sand and worms. Right? That's that's where they are. They're on a sand planet, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the way you yep. said it, it sounded like you said sand, damn. I'm worms. starting to slur. Okay. Some sand, damn. <laughs> Leave words. me for myself. Okay. <laughs> it. All right. Cat hurting. Uh, nat 20 Cat investigation hurting. check. <laughs> uh -huh. Nat 20 investigation check. Um, there is nothing that, that you should be putting into this box, but you do think that there is there is some words that should be there. Um okay. or may i'm gonna say not 20 that will appear there once this door has been touched you, i'm just gonna give it to you because i can't okay. think around this so i'm guessing we have to i'm guessing we have to touch the door somehow something's got to appear in this box but there's nothing like to put there so um ooh, i have an idea but it could be a dangerous idea 
uh oof, it's okay very nix motif right um as somebody who is touched by nix what if i just stroke the door yeah can i help because i've also (laughs) been visited by nix can i give her advantage i don't mean i'm visited by nix i mean i nix owns my soul i understand that but like because i've had an interaction with her and so you both stroke the door yes at the same time how about you stroke it first and see what happens and if it's not enough then i'll come in and touch the door do we (laughs) both just want to palm it like how is this working (laughs) i'll just sound like if you think that two fingers visited is enough then <laughs> two fingers so yeah, you take your gosh. two fingers and just <laughs> um some of the du- some dust. of the rust i oh, know it's been pressed to digitize so that's a hot door um oh, you no. hear <laughs> as you touch the door um <laughs> and as you touch the door i'm gonna have everyone roll for initiative okay is the door a mimic <laughs> the door is a mimic no it's not <laughs> Why is this not the thing? Hang on. Uh, What the fuck have I done here? 18. Wait, I broke it. Wait, I broke it. 15. Don't break the door. We're trying to, you know, do shit. I broke something in my combat tracker. Uno momento will, like, fix it. Jesus, fuck, I'm drunk. What are these words? Where is 19 people watching our stream? Hi, 19 19 people. Hi. (laughs) Oh, it went up to 20. Hello, 20 people. Hi, 20 people. people. (laughs) Okay, let's make this again because I broke it. Uh, Fane. Why is it still broken? Don't be broken. Daniel! Daniel! I broke it! Fix achy, what break Jessica heart. broke. I can't it's your read. entire function in life right now. <laughs> your <laughs> eyes are crossed. I wonder if it is running away. Okay. What did you do? I hi, there's Daniel. this link thing here. Hi Daniel. And he can't hear I us. I say hi Daniel. Okay. They're saying hello. Hi everybody. Hi I Daniel. Hear you. <laughs> uh and then when I do the thing, all of the initiatives are linked. Pink is a good color on Jessica. I broke I broke it. Look at that. Look I options. undid the linking over here. Hang on, wait. See? 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 Undid. Refresh, refresh your thing. I did. Do a hard refresh. How? Hold uh, shift. Shift and refresh. Shift and how? Wait. It's Fuck! Shift. You're fine. Okay. Now try. I can't technicologicals. It's not working. I like how the camera is moving around <laughs> as if this is a scene in a sitcom and he's like <laughs> looks up to get Daniel's reaction, comes back down. How do I fix it? Not no. I You know what? While you do that, I'm going to get another cup of coffee. Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Those of you who just joined, I promise we're not always just having tech problems. Mm. It's usually a different kind of chaos. No, you mm. made it. Yeah, if you, if you, um, anybody in the chat got some, got some questions for us. Oh, that's a good idea. How best mm. to uh, seduce the door. Yeah, but see, it does it anyway. <laughs> what is your right? technique for seducing doors? Well, we did just try I stroking the door, and it didn't, like it. It, it didn't like that. We're gonna have to do something else. Stroking didn't work. We didn't ask. For, did, we didn't ask for consent. Though, Am I signed in? Stroking. Yeah, so maybe that's the problem. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm signed in. How would it if it doesn't talk though? How can it give informed consent? I don't know. Wow. Ah, hmm. Well, well, if something uh, is no, able to appear was. in the thing, it might. Yeah, maybe oh, like the true. maybe like a yes, flash none. or something mm-hmm. like yeah. happy flashing, Refresh. and then we know like mm-hmm. if it gets really angry, like we'd know, like cool happy flashing, yes, and red is, Katie, red flash. really happy flashing. <laughs> thing. <laughs> just just push uh, the button. Yeah. First, Why the whole thing about it's rather about large. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, the door. Thank you. I love you. You're the best. I did just drop Daniel best thing. I did not pick up line. Tofu's just dropped the best pickup line in the chat. Do I detect happy, wood happy or are you flashing. just happy to see me? Tofu, I am happy to see you. 
<laughs> oh damn. <laughs> I need to make this. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna let's roll for initiative now. So tell me what you got. Uh, uh 13. 15. 13? 18. Uh you got an was. 18. Uh uh b -b Clover got a 15. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um then we got I'm a surprised 17. you could pick that up given that Is we that all just him? you know yelled numbers at you. I know it's I it's like I get like more perceptive as I'm drunk I don't <laughs> understand how that works Daniel I know that you just got there but I need you to roll for anemone and Delphra okay nine and ten don't roll for them anymore you're terrible at it <laughs> why do we want them to go before us in the initiative I, I mean not necessarily <laughs> I just thought it was funny like nine and ten okay so, here is how this is going to go. I do don't think it. I worked this out properly. Okay, so. Sorry. As you stroke the door, um, mm -hmm. the mere touch of your hand sends the room into a sudden transformation. There is a quiver. I'm real good say. at it. I'm real good you at it. You are so good at it. Those two fingers are magical. <laughs> Casting the chamber into a soft, dim light. I need you to send um, that sentence off to a list of folks I will send you. Like, okay. so we're, <laughs> like, so we're very clear. The once ordinary door now radiates with a mysterious purple hue, as if rushing of blood has, co you know, Oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and the arcane runes, <laughs> and arcane runes materialize in that box oh sweet Jesus. um the patterns of stars um almost begin to dance and in the midst of this arcane manifestation four spirits materialize walking past that demarcation line from the labyrinth to the room that you are currently in ethereal wisps of light seem to be they seem to almost be like when you know when you see uh i don't even know how to describe this when it's really hot and you see the heat waves heat waves and everything seems to move mm -hmm. yeah like yeah. heat waves heat, yeah heat distortion like, like, a, like a mirage Words. kind of yes like I a mean, mirage I like they're like they kind of feel like that um they move with a very eerie grace uh they're humanoid forms but they seem to be shifting and moving like flames again because of the heat because words and i can't i can't do this a soft haunting <laughs> hum uh resonates around them uh creating a very other word worldly ambience and you notice that they do seem to shy away from that purple glow that the door has but, so let me just fucking, okay. So here's how this is going to work. <laughs> I just can't do this. Um, there will be two of you that can work on the puzzle and four of you that will have to deal with the the um, the um spirits. And you I, can rotate out as you see fit. I'm just going to fight people. And I'm going to try to be the, the smart one. Because in general, I, I can't, I can't do that. I'm smart, but I'm. Okay. There is a so. reason why I was like, hey, ladies yeah. who historically solve these puzzles really I, fast. I, I, I don't know that's that your general. memory. I don't feel like I really had anything to do with solving any puzzles. <laughs> really? Well, yeah. it, I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> it, so. was me. it was it was we all Jennifer. Write... Uh, so we we will rotate around as necessary. <laughs> there, yeah, you guys can rotate around. You can Decide who is going to go after the, um, do this puzzle, this turn around. I'll read it to you first. Um, I'll read, okay, so the glo the glub, the, 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 the wheels on the bus go around. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me read this. Okay, so the runes on the door are glowing purple. 
Um, there are a bunch of different rooms. Um, and I'm going to say, give me a um, an intelligence check. You can all do it as you kind of look at it for a second. Oh, no. Ooh. That's a Nat six. One. Six. Ooh. Nat one. I almost got an ad 20, but I got a 15. No. 15. It like stuck, it like teetered on the, the 20. Okay, so Daniel, you have to roll for the other girls. Okay, well, does Delphi have this... like advantage on intelligence checks or something? Oh, mm. she has a special thing. Does she? Sorry, I missed what we were rolling. Intelligence. I intelligence. Forgot, but I just wanted to make sure before I did it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say that, uh, what did you get, uh, Katie? Um, nine. Nine. Okay. So yeah. Delphra and Aurora will be the ones that will take this puzzle um, through this. Other, I mean, you're welcome to I'm do sorry. it otherwise but you I'm going to say that I will tell you what is on the door when we get to your turn but the spirits attack uh, and we'll start with it starts actually with one of these spirits that lunges forward at um, what's the what's your line who's who's closer to the spirits I was taking position Towards where I believe spirits were coming away from the door to provide cover for yeah. like I've been like all right I'm ready okay I feel like we're you guys next to each other though so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so it's probably pretty equidistant I would imagine so if you are you guys are there I will I'm gonna roll a d6 and we're gonna see who is gonna attack first um uh ba -ba -ba. anemone you are going to these this um fuck me guys i shouldn't have drank this spirit lunges towards you um and it's going to reach for you let's let's there's so much words here okay and it's going to um it's going to Try and grab hold of you. Let's roll for this bullshit, please. God damn it. How does this work? How are words a thing right now? They're um, not. Does a 14 touch you as it tries to caress your lovely, beautiful face? Her armor's 15. That's so it. It goes to... It's, you guys are level four. I thought barbarians had high AC. Sorry, I no. They're tanks. They're supposed to take the hits because you have all the hit points. That's right. Okay. Any hoozles. It um it runs its hands through your beautiful hair, but you don't. The attack misses. Uh. God damn. The next spirit is going to has a hand towards... of fate. Hand of fuck me. Okay, so I will roll this with disadvantage. It's going to lunge, lunge, dodge, lunge, lunge, dodge for um Katie. For oh, first, because I don't know if you guys saw um Squiggums put in hand of fate. Yes, they redeemed hand of fate. I don't know if you saw. It. I just want to make sure. Just so you yes, know, I will roll this with disadvantage, and um. It's going to, you see this, you see these, this hand that comes towards you begins to solidify and almost look sharp as it goes to reach for you. Um, Issa, is that you? Issa is here in spirit. <laughs> it's going to roll a nat 20. So I'm really sorry about that one. How the fuck on Oh no, wait, wait. Wait, it has disadvantage. Thank yeah. you, Squiggums. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's thank a you. fifteen hit. <sighs> I don't probably, but that is not a nat twenty. So I, I, I um, uh, yes, it does hit me, but it's not a nat twenty. So okay, oh, thank boy. you, Squiggums. Thank you, Squiggums. Um, <laughs> and it, I didn't tell you for my own benefit, but I'm glad I did. It lunges forward <laughs> and 
stabs into the side of your head as you kind of dodge Ooh. to try and get out of the way. And you take 16 psychic damage because it rolled really well. Um, And I need you to make me a uh, DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Oh, I hate everything about that. Yeah. Okay. I, it does have to roll to get this back. Hold on. I am done with... Why, why do I bother with the damn... I think recharge abilities from monster design perspective are so cool. So is the meter beat? Because mm. I did get uh, 13. Meets it, beats it. Okay, 13. Okay. So the second part of this does not happen, but you do take 16 psychic damage. Roz, it is your turn. You are also muted. <laughs> I muted myself before I ate a piece of very, very crunchy seaweed. Um, and that just didn't work out for me. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, hold on. I'm trying to do. Okay. Apply changes. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to, how close is this thing? It's, it's real close, right? Like it's right within, it's, it's right next to me, right? Yes. It has moved up to attack you. Okay. So I'm going to try to shank it with my yes. dagger. <laughs> you may shank a bitch. Does a 22 hit him? Yes. It definitely hits them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So 13. 13. Damage. 13 what? 13 piercing damage, I guess. Uh, piercing damage. Is it, is, is it, hang on. Does it say magical weapons? One second. Blah, 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 blah. Does it say, is it a magical weapon? No. Okay. So it's not 13. And I apologize. I'm going to half that. That's rude. Hey, you did yeah, something. He's too close for, yeah, he's too close to use my vicious longbow, which would be a magical weapon, I think. Every yes. little bit counts. Okay. It does. You have made a mark on it. Mark on it? Whatever. Mark. Uh Roz. <laughs> on the door. Mm -hmm. Uh what languages do you speak? Probably common and elvish. So I, I can speak common, elvish, halfling, and thieves can't. I did or not mean to say your name. I meant to say Aurora. Sin. I was trying to figure out why I needed. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> it's okay. You, what languages do you I speak? Yes. Common, celestial, and elvish. So, in but celestial, I also I have. Oh wait, never mind. That doesn't count. Yeah, go ahead. In celestial, you see the words red, blue, yellow, green, purple, and black. And the runes what are glowing purple. Like mm-hmm. Okay. Did you say that was in Celestial? Yes. I'm going to tell everybody and gesture what is what so that everyone's on the same page as me. So they know like what rune means what word. Um, and I, do they look like they can be, is there a way to write? I'm going to like take my finger and draw the copy, whatever says purple in the blue, in the space, in the open space. So in the space, they these are being, that's where they're written. So oh, that's copy, where they're written? You say you write purple again? Oh, I'm going to say purple out loud in the language. I'm going to say whatever the celestial for purple is. So you say purple. Perpeliel. Perpeliel, <laughs> um, Arcana Banana, and nothing happens. Shoot. You said Did the roots are all glowing the, in purple. Touch the purple word? Yeah. Maybe. Oop. I'm afraid to ask what color. Are you going to take is. that as your action? Are you going to run up and touch that purple room? Oh, do I? Wait. So, so I won't, if you say it, I won't take, I won't give you like a. Okay, real quick. If I was over fighting bad guys, how did I read that? I'm going to say you like kind of looked over your shoulder. Okay. It's not like I they're guess... small. It's like, it's, it's like decent sized runes. Okay. I'm going to shout back and be like, there are colors. The one fourth from the right is that purple. Uh, uh, and I, am I able to engage? I'm like, got a, a bunch of dudes in my face. I think they're within melee of me, correct? Yes, they are. Okay. 
Now you something. could disengage or you can attack. You tell me what you want to do. I can I back up and incur an attack of opportunity? You want them to attack you? I have um, armor of Agathis on me, baby. Yeah, sure. 100%. Okay. You back up. How many of them are going to get attacks on me if I make this move? Uh, Just one. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to back up um, so that I am body blocked by an enemy and whoever else wants to stay in melee range so I can provide like attacks, like range attacks. I'm going to back up. Uh, they have to be a 17. Okay. So let's have them reach for you. And I'll um, tell you what happens. And they actually miss. They get a 12. So okay. you get away. What do you do? I am going to take a shot with my bow. I don't think I have multi-attack yet, do I? No, I don't. That's why I was like looking to see if I have multi-attack. I do not, but I'm going to take a, uh, I am actually going to invoke my special uh, ability, which is Lunar Pact, uh, which basically adds an additional damage die uh, to my attacks and, okay. uh, regains a expended spell slot so i am going to go ahead and like just accept the power of luna nixari i don't even know at this point there's magical power coming it's gonna fill me up my bow is gonna light up like a christmas tree and i'm gonna fire ma'am 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 which one are you which one are you fight uh firing at Fire there is the one, one that has been hurt and there are two healthy ones one that just attacked you Oh, the healthy one attacked me? Yes. You know what? Um, do I feel like it isn't going to be able to come at me because, like, an enemy and everyone is there? Uh, yeah, you have moved back, so they're mo it's most likely going to attack whoever is close. Okay, to then I will go for the injured one to just try oh. and take it off. Uh, and I rolled a 22. That hits. All right, I'll tell you how much damage that does. Uh, wait, hold on. Incidentally, there's a cause chaos in chat from Moss Ronson. Oh, yeah, I was wondering what that yes, was. I will. Uh, what does that mean? Yeah, it's it means that I roll a d8 and minus whatever I get from that from the next roll. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay. So I love hold. that. They love, I love, I love when they love us. I, uh, <laughs> I rolled the lowest on my additional die. So I did 11 total piercing damage, magical piercing damage, magical piercing, full damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Um, I think that is all I can do. Okay. So that is my turn. That is your turn. All right. Then another spirit lunges forward towards, um, I mean, the ones that are closest are Anemone and Rosalind. So uh, I'll have this one go for Anemone. Um, let's see what happens. Anemone, a 10 does not hit Anemone. It goes to lunge at her and she bats it out of the way. Not an issue. Nothing happens. Uh, Clover, what do you do on your turn? Um, I'm in front of the door, but I just say quickly, can can someone else maybe try touching the purple thing? Um, because I would like to um, channel divinity, turn undead. I feel like that's probably useful um, right now. Ooh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Spell. Shit. Okay. I forgot so we had a cleric. So did I. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's a wisdom save. It's my spell save DC, right? Um, which is 15. That doesn't sound right. What's spell save DC? It's proficiency. Yeah. Well, what's Minus 15. Eight. So you okay, use wisdom totally as your right, spell then. casting modifier. Eight plus your proficiency mm. plus your wisdom modifier. Plus, yeah. It should say it on so, your sheet. Eight plus four. Under your plus spells. Two. Oh, I use a manual sheet. Eight plus gotcha. four plus two is fourteen. That's yeah. So it's fourteen, not fifteen. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Um, okay. Yeah, fourteen. So they will roll wisdom. This first one will. Uh, and how long does that last for? 
turn for one minute or until they take damage. Run I'm a bitch. So uh, 15 to pass for the first one. Mm -hmm. um, the second one is, wow, these guys have wisdom. Um, and 18. Damn. I did even not if, expect that. Even if you smart. get just one, that would be a benefit. 11 for one of the mm -hmm. Fane Spirits. Yay! Okay. And a a 23 for the next. So Damn one it. of them. All right. Well, we got one. Yeah. One just don't hit that away. one. Oh. I'm not even going to say that it stays. He's it's just like, okay. fuck this. I'm taking my ball and going home. <laughs> just remember <laughs> that guys, there are tons home. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I so, want to... How, like, did the 11 damage... Is it, like, did that hurt it? Or is are we barely... You... Every time that you hit them, you do see that, like, wisps seem to, like, fly away from them. And they seem a little bit less corporeal and less, like... Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. Um, um good turn it, and is it an action yes. to in to um interact with the door like i i just use my action for channel divinity is that like all i can do with regards to the uh channel divinity is a is that an action or a bonus action it's an action it's an action okay so um you know what it's touching a rune so i will say that you can do that as a bonus action okay um Cool. I'd like to try and touch the purple rune. You jump up with your super springy cat-like body and you Why? touch touch the purple rune and, oh. and nothing happens. Damn it. Um, okay, that didn't work. New plan. Okay. I will do you want me to reiterate what the colors are? Mm-hmm. Red, um, blue. I'll put it in chat too. Red, blue, yellow, green. Purple, black. The door is purple. Hmm. Where's chat? There's chat. I mean, red and blue make purple too. I don't. I don't know. Maybe touch all mm. of them and see if anything happens. Like a little kid in an elevator. Yeah, <laughs> just, just see if anything happens. <laughs> like now we're going to so, every floor. Thanks, kid. I. Oh, the next. So that's your turn. Yes. Uh, yeah. The next Fane spirit, which is the one that just attacked uh, Sin as she walked back, is going to attempt to attack. Let's see. What can you do, my little spirit friend? It can do the hokey pokey and turn itself around. And it does. It puts one limb out, one limb in. It turns <laughs> around and then lunges at um, at uh, Roz. And we're going to see if it hits you. Uh, 12. No. But Roz is quick. She's a rogue. She steps out of the way. It kind of tumbles a little bit and then disappears into the floor. Eat these assholes. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna hate them so much more. Thanks. Um Cabby. Okay. Um yeah, I'm gonna run up to the door and at the same time hit red and blue. You run up to the door, you hit red and blue, and as you do so, do so, so, so the door changes colors into a bright orange color. Um Cappy, what languages do you speak? Common and Elvish. Oh, and uh, oh, Draconic and Sylvan. Oh my goodness. Interesting. In Sylvan, the words red, blue, yellow, purple, orange, and black appear. Red, blue, yellow, purple, orange, black. Okay. I, I, yeah, okay. So I I did that right. Um, I'm I'm just doubting my whole life right now. Uh, Delphra, what do you do, by the way? Do you actually, Delphra? that was a, that was a, no, that was a bonus action. Do you want to do, I will let you either touch the door again or attack. How many spirits are currently here? Three. 
and one of them so the one that turned is just gone so we have three oh well fresh... one of them has disappeared so you I, I i should lie i lied and i said there are two. Oh, okay um, for now it disappeared for now mm -hmm. yes okay i think i am going to use my my special special feet um your lucky rabbit's feet my lucky my lucky <laughs> rabbit's feet you gonna um, wiggle your toesy woesies how big is this room how far away are they from us um so i'd say they're about 20 feet from you the room is about 30 feet square. okay oh, okay this should cover the whole room then okay so i am going to um put my hands together and conjure a sphere that looks like the moon, which will then burst with radiant energy. Mm -hmm. um, this is my special sorcerer ability. Um, okay. Every, um, all hostile creatures in a 30 foot radius um, are gonna take 2d8 radiant damage, and then they Ooh. have to make a strength saving throw DC 15. And so okay. they, take they take 12 damage. Let me nice. Put that out there. I love us using all of our special Luna powers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Deep underground where there is no moon to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> we make the moon. We make our own moon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should have tried that on the door. We should have tried mooning the door. You should have just taken your <laughs> pantalones off. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Delphine didn't um, oh, need to. She doesn't wear them anyway. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't wear yeah, them. I don't wear she pants Donald, either. So she Donald ducks it. <laughs> you are always Donald ducking it. Um, strength save. Uh, they caught. You know, don't seem to be very strong, being spirits, and both of them fail horribly under ten. So, okay. so they're knocked nice. back ten feet, and they're knocked prone. So you see All them. Right. They can't be prone, but right, they I do figured. end up being knocked into the darkness. And currently, there are no spirits here. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, that was your turn, obviously. Uh -huh. Delphra. There, there are no spirits. Yes, they, they have all been blown into the darkness or disappeared. Can we assume, though, that they're just out of line of sight? You can assume anything you like. I assume that we're gonna win. I like that assumption. So you, where are you casting this, this sphere? So like sort of into so right on the th the thirty foot mark. Okay. You oh man I'm so sorry you do and actually as you do so you see a whole bunch of these faces and figures seem to like light up in the <sighs> darkness like everything that you would just walk through is filled with souls. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, is that your like... turn? Oof. Immediately lose concentration <laughs> and run away. Um, <laughs> is that your turn? Okay. Uh, you also are now an enemy. So. Press the buttons. Press the buttons. Press press the the red and the yellow buttons. It's okay. It's there's a never mind. I'm gonna let it be. <laughs> red and yellow. The uh door changes to a green color. What uh languages do does does anemone speak? I should not drink during these games. In giant, you see. 
red, blue, yellow, green, orange, and purple. And you can use a bonus action. Oh! Hey. The door opens. <laughs> hey! <laughs> blue and yellow. Okay, cool. You know what? Another thing, because of a nat 20, in, in Giant, another thing pops up. So you don't even have to, like, no one else has to go up to this. Um, the door is now glowing black. And with a nat 20, I'm going to say you see red, blue, yellow, green, orange, and purple pop up. And you're like, all the colors! And just kind of, like, run your fingers like down like a piano like doo -doo -doo, across the door and it begins to raise up into the ceiling um as the door raises up you are out of initiative and you step into the planetarium a room Alive with the hum of celestial machinery, uh, glistening gears and intricate orbs representing the planets and the moons rotate in a mesmerizing dance orchestrated with the very just precise precision. That is the words that I'm going to use because fuck it. The precise um, precision of precise the most precision. precision. <laughs> I can um, a banana. <laughs> Fuck me. Precise precision the... is their number one hit. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> um, I love it. I'm uh... writing all this shit down for later. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I had that the... TikTok trend in my head where they like smack the table and like click and then do that. Like it's going through my head over and over and over again. I don't know if I've seen that. It was okay. okay. It was yeah. Doesn't matter. The Display is so intricately, intricately detailed that you feel as though you're standing in a very the very center of the universe. There are so many, there's so many things around you that it is, it's breathtaking. Um, and beneath this celestial ballet that is going on, um, a date is prominently displayed. Um, kind of, I'm going to say, you just suggesting, you know, a, do you guys even remember why you're here? I, I, I just yeah. want to ask that. I've, yeah, we're, we're here to find it. out information about the eclipse. Perfect. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to say uh, the date is actually upcoming and it, you can put that together that it is the cosmic event that you are, cosmic event that you are here for. Um. There is an ambient light coming off of those celestial bodies. Um, it's very, it's very nice to be in. Like, this is very um, otherworldly. What do you do? First thing I do is pull out a little notebook and start madly scribbling down any information that is first writable. And then maybe like do like a loose sketchy sketch of what i see um and then i'm going to kind of just like i don't know signal to my sisters hey start looking around uh see if you find anything important uh you give me a black stone, stone right oh sorry well, you are you can give me an investigation i got a 15 intelligence sure. but that would have been an 18 if, if it was an investigation there is also a guidance in the chat to star and you've saw Wait, that but i'm absolutely me alone we have guidance we have a guidance kitty bot you do have a guidance kitty we too. need to start using that <laughs> oh yeah shit, <laughs> oh, shit that's me. guidance everybody <laughs> sorry okay. okay i got a 15 yeah. but if i you okay. can add the guidance to that okay. i allow that as a bonus as like a reaction <laughs> yeah, I just started letting all my players, because we have like three characters that have guidance, so they just add their guidance dice. They add to guidance to everything. Essentially it's every role, unless they're in combat, because obviously it takes an action to cast guidance. 
Uh, yeah, I will let you cast that as a guide as a as a reaction if okay. you want to use your reaction. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah. Okay. So I got a 16 on my intelligence. It's if it was just a flat intelligence check, it'd be a 16. If it was an investigation check, it'd be a 19. Okay. Uh I'm gonna say intelligence for you, investigation for anyone else. Okay. I, I got like a 12 on investigation. Okay. Mm. Um, okay, I got a 12, but let's make that uh a 14. Okay. So I'm just seeing where I put this. Okay. So there is, there are, okay. You notice with, I'm going to say with your 14, you notice that there is a planet or like a moon or like a celestial object that sort of has like a, um, a cutout in it it's not cut out it's like a like a thing that you would remove mother fucking words uh and with your 12 i'm gonna say that you you're just you're a little just you're a little too small to real to see that uh clover with your 16 intelligence it makes sense to you as you see these um bodies moving that and this date in the sky that maybe that you want to align everything to that date uh what do do we know how the planets would even align to that date are there star charts or something that we could um consult that is a good thing that I definitely should have thought of as the DM. Um, hey, guess what? With your 12, you did find some star charts rolled up at the bottom of the floor. I am sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, here's some star charts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. I'm going home. I'm done. You are um, You're good. You're doing good. Um, I got a 21. 21. Throwing that out Ooh. there in case you didn't hear it. I did not hear it, and I'm so sorry. It's okay, but it was um, really good. And I didn't want it to go away because it was real good. Your invest, and that's investigation, or whatever. I'll I was say supposed to roll. Yeah, you un so. fucking shit. Just you unroll those maps, uh, those star charts, and you're able with your twenty one to pinpoint what you have to move and where it should go, and um, doing so, you notice bunch of these planets lining up uh and as you do so the gears begin to shift as these bodies align the room responds by darkening and the moment of the eclipse appears with this room now cloaked cloaked in this like eclipse like darkness um a mystical poem seems to manifest in the air with these very like very beautiful handwritten radiant words and i'm gonna put it in the chat but i'm also gonna read it to you because it's long and and it's gonna yes just here's the poem <laughs> when darkness when darkest darkness claims the land against it all six women stand collect the stones which can be found where first stood gods upon the ground find the diamond left by magic used by sisters thrice as tragic where peace and light defy the dark hidden deep in mossy bark then in the coldest winter realm, a sapphire gift to crown your helm. The god of weather left behind, a gift to give when vows are signed. Then venture home, seek tiger's eye, left with one too skilled to die. The gift of war in war's own hand return you must to luna's land 
the next you'll find beneath the waves where breathing folk would find their graves. The god of waters, aqua, aquamarine, in the hands of the swimming queen. Then back to darkness, back to the start, where the rest, where rests the ruby of the heart, the gift of life within, within the grasp of ones who've long since breathed their last. The last I give to start your quest. Hurry now and seek the rest. For only on convergence night can gods be stilled and fate set right. And as that final verse of that celestial poem gracefully completes its little dance across the room, there's this hushed silence of the planetarium as all the gears stop and you hear a sudden um, release of air. And that piece in that one, um, I'll say the moon, slides apart and falls to the ground. And there is a very beautiful onyx stone that glitters with little gold specks. What do you do? Take the stone. Can yeah, I'm going to like the, slowly. The I will post them. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I definitely you. think we need to take the stone. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will need this. It is, yeah. it is basically your, is the point? We, this is your, how, where you're going to go, your quest log. Yeah. Uh, so this onyx stone, is it kind of the same size and impressiveness as the moonstone? Is this the moonstone? Because I don't the think entire it's, time I was like thinking of moonstone. I don't like, think it's the, the it's an onyx, right? But yeah, it's an true. onyx. It is Does not it, the moonstone. Right. So it that's is. not I what I'm asking. Good. I'm asking, it's... does this feel like an equivalent power as the Moonstone? Like the Moonstone is part of a set, you know? Yeah, the, the, poem, the poem sounds like I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to take uh, 13. 13? Yeah. I oh, mean, it is. Poem. Thank you. It's roughly the same size as the Moonstone. It feels powerful. Um, okay. With the 13, I mean, that's I'm, I'm gonna say that's what you get from that. I'm basically gonna look at this thing and assume based on the poem, based on what we know about the moonstone, and based on this thing and where we are, I feel like we just found ourselves in one of those fun little uh Zelda scavenger hunts where it's <laughs> a good now, assumption. Yeah, now this is it, but I do find this interesting because. While Nixaria has been claiming to truly own the Moonstone, to me, this stone looks more up Nixaria's alley. That hmm. is, that is, that, that's, that's an interesting hmm. assumption. Now, what is this poem saying about, like, we need to go get them all? Yeah. To stop the convergence or to get the convergence going? So the last thing to... that it says is... So hurry now and seek the rest for only on convergence night can a God be stilled and fate set right. I don't think we can start or stop the conversion. I think it's just going to happen no matter what we do. Right. Yeah. It is we just have to get bodies. all the stones. What I We have to get all the stones by the what, time the convergence happens. What I'm getting at is does Nixaria need all of the stones to perform her ritual and we are being tricked to get them for her. Ooh, that's interesting. Because this little poem seems wildly specific to us as individuals. Six people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, does this poem say I'm gonna get I have to get married? <laughs> the poem starts moving. And thus <laughs> the bunny meet her fate. <laughs> no, um, it does when say the bunny and say... dragon. A, uh, a gift to give when vows are signed. Yeah. yeah. Vows don't um, necessarily mean wedding I thought vows. what that meant was, is maybe there is a culture that sapphires are like a wedding present or a wedding ritual. That's what that kind of sounded like to me. Uh, happy. 
Mm-hmm. Give me a history check. Oh, the god of weather. Yeah. In the winter realm. That whole verse in the coldest winter Can I get winter some guidance? realm. The you have guidance in the chat. I already I and used it. God of weather. Yeah, sure. The cat like bops you on the nose. You get guidance. <laughs> oh, good, because that made uh, my 13 a 17. Okay. You remember seeing a very beautiful um sapphire just a little bit bigger than this one inlaid on a crown on top of a very large white dragon oh I thought, yeah it was very magical have i ever heard of the existence of holy stones other than the moonstone that are important to other nations like our surrounding nations the way we re- we revere like the moonstone, right? It's like part of our whole culture. Have I ever heard of anything of similar practice of the surrounding nations that they have their own stones that their cultures are centered around? Or is this more like a secret thing? I'm going to say what you know of the stones because is that there was only a moonstone. Okay. Because it was such a shock to you that you guys found that it used to be in Tenbrosa, this is there being other stones. I mean, I'm not even going to make you roll for it. You've never heard of a god touching down on the ground before. Okay, so all of this mm-hmm. is like brand new, isn't ringing a bell, and is like, uh oh. Yeah, this is, any- this is new. Well, does anything I, else in here sound familiar to anyone? There is one thing that sounds familiar to me. Um, when we were walking here, and you know how the spirits were talking to us, I heard the voice of someone I haven't thought about in a long time. Uh, somebody I've been running away from. Uh, his name is War. And the poem said, the gift of war in war's own hand about a tiger eye. So I, I think I think he has one of the gems we need. Who is his war? His name is war? Like like battles? Yeah. Tiger yeah. eye is um, stone. So. Who is this is war? It, is it clear that you're scared of this person? Yeah. Um. <laughs> well... Uh, sk- s- not not like terrified she's just kind of somewhere between uneasy and like she's you know she's not um I'm I think she goes say, on to Clover you mm-hmm. know you're not scared but mm-hmm. you know to be scared mm-hmm. um and that's because I think I've made a little small change um War runs the Assassin Guild in in Salandria. Oh. War mm-hmm. is like granddaddy assassin. Okay. Do we know okay. that? And you know that. that. Clover you knows might that. not know that. Okay. Clover knows that. Gotcha. So, uh... So, I, I looks like we know about the tiger's eye and the sapphire gift of Fleety's dragon had a crown with a sapphire in it I I think this has to be about Eustace or about Fleety in his realm well he is one element but everything else seems kind of all over the place well if there's there's other verses that refer are there is there anything in here that seems to refer to either of you well i'm guessing that the the poem specifically references six women there are six gems that we have to get the tiger's eye sounds like it's for me the sapphire sounds like sapphire sound it's like from um cappy delphra um do you recognize the one which is we're talking about deep in mossy bark. That sounds like a druid thing, right? Yeah. 
Delphra. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm not sure if that's. <laughs> um, uh, Delphra. Delphra does not recognize it, but it does sound like a druid thing. Um, and I'll give you that anemone thinks that she recognizes the one that was just given to you, as it sounds like a stone from legends of one of her gods, which would be the one that the just onyx, the onyx one. Okay. Um, with the gold flex. It sounds like something that uh, the god that just spoke to her might have once possessed. Was that Orliath or was that a different? That was a, a different... different god, which god, for the okay. love of me, I will try and pronounce uh, again. It is called, they're called Nurgalenu. Nurgalat. Nurgalenu. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> is that the, the night them? sentinel? Yes, the Night Sentinel. I did right, not name okay. them. She gave me these gods. Okay, from her tribes. <laughs> okay, let's go fair. with the Night Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ruby one makes me think of you, Rosalind, with with Val, your wisp, being red. Oh, that makes sense. And speaking of the dead, the gift once... of life within the grasp of. Ones who Once. lost li since breathed their last. Ross, does that sound familiar? Death, yeah. It's a pretty familiar theme in my life. Would this be something that uh that Val could make big flashy flashes about if she agrees with um, something? It could be, but she's not doing anything other than hiding still in your hair and hasn't Poor come baby. out this whole time you every now and then you hear the little jingle jingle and the sh you can f you almost you feel the cold as it shivers against you i'm gonna what take if... her out real quick and just give her a quick kiss what about the first feel the ru her rub against your nose the god of waters aquamarine in the hands of the swimming queen i don't i'm not drawing a parallel to that I, verse i wonder what's going on then because aurora you're the you're the last remaining sister right i i remain unconvinced that these each of these gems represent us i don't know We'll have to do hmm. some research. Well, I find um, I'm going to say, as you guys kind of come to this uh, conclusion, Anemone is going to go up to that last gem and take it out of its holster there. Um, Wait, as she what, kind of... what gem and what holster? So the there's holster. a there's a moon. The last line of of the poem was that it gives you the last that, that oh, first oh, gem to onyx. start your quest. Yeah. Oh, so okay. I'm holding take... it. Oh, you took it already. Yeah, I'm holding it. Like I was like looking at it. When you it touched to it, when you touched it, I was going to say you guys end up like transported back out of oh. there. So I'm going to okay, say that she I'll takes I'll it wreck. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And you guys, as she kind of claims that onyx gem, takes it out of there, um, the moments that she has it fully in her hands, you guys are teleported out of that, that planetarium and um, find yourself in a very nice room uh, that is familiar to Rosalind. Oh, shit. Um, actually, in... The uh, in his study, you are alone. Ooh. It's not the room I was um, thinking of. Um, that works too. Where <laughs> did you think? It's in the same place. The study is connected to the bedroom. Yeah, my brain just went to Nick's. That's all. Not you are him. no, 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 no. You are not asleep. This is not a dream. You're not in that. Um, you are in the prince's bedroom. I am going to find. 
where what I a weird put... place to be teleported. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. It's almost like someone forgot that there was stuff here that they needed to uh, go back and see. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't forget anything. It's fine. Not at all. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you, got, where you guys are could just we? leave. Um, so this is where I've been, you know, at night a little bit here and there. You were there once. <laughs> here and she's, there. <laughs> she's, you know, trying to make sure it's... It, it, she she might be gassing it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, the prince. Hmm? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure why we're here, but that's where we are. Do I see so. any of Rosalind's underwear lying against like a <laughs> chair? Um, <laughs> you do not see the underwear. underwear? <laughs> he keeps it, actually he keeps it under his pillow. Wow. Um, that's weird. It's... You do not see any Please underwear. Please tell me he washed it. Come on. <laughs> Mm. no that's what creepers don't do come on um no (laughs) the the room is immaculate it is the bed is made everything is uh in place um you like i said you're in a study there are towering bookshelves there are a bunch of old uh tomes there are um there's a mahogany desk adorned with adorned with a bunch of scroll scrolls um and uh tucked behind a um one of the bookshelves is a um i don't know like a cork board of sorts with a a tape with a a sheet over it what are you doing guys what is your plan here do you leave what's what is the vibe i mean there's a reason we're here oh Cork I'm snooping under sheet, that I sheet. Mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> the first thing look. I did, and I was like, nah, that's cool. Um, it's, uh, let me, I'm still trying to find where I put all of the information here. Um, one sec. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, what do you think's on that cork board? You think it's like a um, like a murder board? It's yeah, like, I think that like he might be solving really a crime. true crime. Yeah, <laughs> See, well, it's I, actually I think not that's... a bad. Um, not, not even not his crime. Board. It's a it's a crime that happened to someone else, like on TV, and he's just trying to like take it's the initiative. The, it's the crime. It's, it's the suggestion plague. though. I, I... It's the it's that, exactly solve the plague. That's no, exactly that's, yeah. as you he pull it is out, solving what happened to Kate Middleton. Oh my god, I'm, so, I'm legitimately concerned for her. He's got like, okay, this is the last known photo of her in public that's been verified. But then we have these photos that have clearly been photoshopped. And then at this date, the prince said, it's "You're just- not wrong." To be honest, um, you're you're not you're not horribly off. Um, when you do pull out that and look at it and uncover it, there are papers pinned everywhere of uh different doctors accounts of the plague that was going on there is there were there are bits of little news articles uh that talk about luna's gaze which what is what the plague was called um they are there's a broken amulet with a black gem kind of just uh hanging on a hook there um, Do we recognize that amulet? No, but with a little bit of uh, reading of those like notes and stuff, you see him having done a bunch of research on something called uh, a veil shade art um, amulet, which he was hoping would protect the people of his. Uh, country from this um this plague and there's like this complicated ritual uh that he had to follow and that's kind of where it leaves off but i will give you actually sorry excuse me you do realize that all of these um clippings are from about like like 700 years ago or so these are old. They're yellowed. The The silver of this necklace is tarnished. How old is the prince? 
Is he I an elf? Or to ask? Ask? Is the prince an elf or a human? I forget. He's an elf. The I prince believe. is an elf. But oh, there are okay. humans in this uh, place with you as well. And it was like 700 years ago when the plague started, right? That is, yes, that is around when it yeah. went through everything. Okay. Um, so above the table, can I just check something? So yes. the people the people currently living in the spire were all that was left when the prince dabbled with the magic to try and break the, the plague, right? I'll say that what you, that is part of what you've heard that's what that's what you've been able to put together um yeah yeah that's that's what you've been able to put together you haven't spoken to anyone really about it have you uh, but if I there's humans, i know we've been trying to get information we just there don't are know humans questions to ask. and orcs yeah, yeah. There's... Hmm. Hmm. so timeline wise it seems like just above the table you know theorizing it's so timeline wise it looks like the plague came through 700 years ago the prince spent a shitload of time researching and then did some magic within the last yeah when human the, lifetime worth of time do we above table, know, do we know is... what when the plague started or not the plague but the cur- the shadow curse do we know when that happened or started? The Shadow Curse, it ended around 700 years ago. So it went through the entire, it went through the entire, maybe, I mean that, it went through the entire country in about 10 years. Okay, so that's not recent history. No, that is not recent history. And at oh. that time is when... uh so uh, solsticia walled them off that's also around the and time that, that orion was uh imprisoned mm-hmm. that was that was so all of this is ancient history like happened 700 years ago but it all I mean, happened is it ancient history if it's barely been a it's barely been a, a, a the span of an elf's year of it's an ancient, elf's life it's ancient that's history it's to ancient. us it, to you, yeah. yes. You guys are yeah. fairly young. Um, but we can assume that they all happened kind of together. That is what it seems like. Okay. Can um, I, so I think like Clover... look if there's anything in these papers that, that could explain anything about the longevity of the people in this tower? Or maybe yeah. records of who lived in the tower seven hundred years ago? Give me an investigation check as you guys kind of are looking through his lot, his stuff. Guidance for, hmm. I can't, I can't just go and like systematically go and guidance everybody one after another as we're all investigating. I got a 19. Can I? Well, I don't think I need That's guidance. That's a 20. You yeah. can technically cast it every six seconds. You can cast it every six mm-hmm. seconds. So you could do that. I'm going to say with a 20 though, uh, that you end up, you're going through you're looking at all of these books that he has and you find a set of journals they're old um and you start reading through it and it's talking about it talks about a bunch of different things um as you skim you you can see the desperation that he has to try and save his family his people um he does like there's a bunch of him there's a bunch of entries about him not understanding why this is happening um there's a bunch of there's some entries about him losing his parents and when that happened he at that point had figured out how it was being spread and Galen being one of his the last relatives of his he took her and locked her away pretty much in the catacombs with Oswald um in the dark so that they couldn't see is, is Oswald an elf he is not he's a human okay he's a human interesting and uh, and Galen at the time was 50 very she was a baby elf 
She um, still looks damn young, doesn't she? Like she does. Does she look and like a fifty-year-old elf? Everyone here looks. She does not. Uh, okay. She looks like for a fifty-year-old elf. I mean, they look young as fuck. Like they don't. They look. They don't age the same way that normal uh, that humans do. Um, do they age at all, or do they just once they get to the end of their life, like when they're ready to die of old age, do they look old, or do they look young and then pass on, or? Uh, eventually they will look old okay so there are elderly looking elves there are elderly okay. looking elves gotcha um or elfalies should... if you like <laughs> sorry i'll say myself elderly yes. elfalies. Elfalies. <laughs> um you read these um these entries and a set of them like a set of them kind of start talking about him finding this amulet and finding a ritual to try and um if not stop the plague get enough power to heal people from it and bring people back that have died from it um and one of the last entries i mean through these entries you you hear about he talks about lady seraph and how they were um they had been the ones to discover this and find this. And then one of the last entries in this book is about how they had completed the ritual or tried to, and it was Lady Seraph died in the process and not because, because he was going to die. She stopped him from dying. And actually I do believe in when you did wake up the next morning, the, he has a wound or a scar scar tissue on his chest where you can see just by the length of that amulet it might have sat on his on his chest um and lady seraph dying as she ripped it off his off his person um, and then her deciding not to pass on to stay at the castle and to guard the last of who was left. Um, and they, from there, there's no more, but they do mention a bunch of people that were in the castle that are still in the castle. There's some sort of time stop or like nobody's aging it seems like a lot of the people that we would assume would be long dead after 700 years are still here and unchanged is it possible this ritual made them immortal well not not immortal because we killed i hate to not bring it up but we we killed one of them I don't mean immortal, I suppose like not they can't be injured. I just mean, like, don't die of natural causes. Yeah. You hear but from behind you. Just... Uh-oh. That's a fair assumption to make. Ooh. Turn around. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> oh, good. Um, We were teleported in here. We did not come in on purpose without permission. Do you want to roll persuasion? Sure. I have. Uh, I'm okay we, at that. Okay. This. This. Will I roll his insight? Uh, nine. I'm being we, honest. <laughs> you're being honest, and he rolled well enough that he does believe you. Okay. I but he doesn't. Look however, that please. We, it is. We we did get teleported here, but I'm really sorry. You are correct in the assumption that we were snooping after we arrived here. I'm very sorry. Look, it's a cook um, it, It's a murder board. I have the same one yeah. in my bedroom. I, I think they're putting. I think they're photoshopping for images too. Photoshopping. <laughs> this is this is, this is about his... What is this 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 photoshopping you you speak of? Oh, this is it's... about his friends and his family and his realm. There's nothing funny about any of it. He doesn't look. He doesn't look super impressed right now. Prince Eldrian, we think, however, that we we 
we at least have a good idea as to what we have to do now to try and prevent everything that's supposed to happen at the time of this cosmic event that's coming. Um, we, we made it down into the planetarium of destiny and we found a bunch of information as to what to do. And it sounds like it's specifically us six that have to do it. So I hope that gives you some hope that we will be able to, if not fix things, then at least prevent further catastrophe. He, there's a beat where he is just silence as he's looking at you guys and he goes, well, how fortuitous of you to be here then. And then he has to, it takes him a second. Like he's, you see him staring at that cork board for a little bit. There are pictures on there as well. His family, people that might've been close to him that he lost. Um, And he'll walk over and take the sheet and just cover it back up and put it back. And uh, let out a breath and say, what is it that you need of us? Um, I some information probably, so we can get on our journey. It, he waits. There, there's a poem, and I imagine um, Aurora wrote it down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we have some ideas about where to find some of th- these stones but the first one I have no idea a diamond left by magic used by sisters thrice as tragic where peace and light defy the dark hidden deep in mossy bark does this ring any bells I'm going to roll for him. I'm going to see. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll for him. Oh, 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 close, close. You got a 12. Mm -hmm. Um, It takes a minute. You see him going over it a bit. And he looks genuinely perplexed. Like this is, he's never heard of these stones before. Um, he knew that there was a stone in the basement, but he didn't know that there was more to it. Um, and he goes, Mossy Bark is a town or was a town. Oh. Oh. In Uh, Umfell? Yeah. Um, he goes into his books and kind of pulls out an atlas and uh ends up showing you they're about maybe a week away from here is a town called mossy bark do you know anything about this town in particular i don't remember much to be honest it wasn't a big it wasn't a big enough city for me to really take personal interest in farming town was quiet from what i knew of it i think i'd ridden past it once or twice Do you know if anyone in the castle would know more or have access to more information about it? Can we talk to Galen, maybe? Galen. Yeah. Speak to Galen. Will he let me touch him? You can try. Okay, how do I do that? What are you doing? Tell me what you are doing. I, I I'm not trying to like just like make out with him, but like just like I kind of just want to uh, walk up to him and um, I kind of wanted to take there's two things that I wanted to do um, you can tell me which one would work better um, either I kind of want to give him a kiss on the forehead 
or hold out sort of like take Val out of my hair and just kind of like offer her up to like maybe do the little kiss on the nose thing that she does because it makes anybody feel better and it's real cute Um, I don't know if he'd want to hold a will-o'-wisp. Uh, normally, I mean, they, they can be, they're, they're deadly. So. Oh, well, she's not, she's, No. she's, she's 14. She's a 14 year old elf girl, half elf That's, girl. that's horrifying. Um, <laughs> you I, know I'll what I say mean. that you can go up and give him a, like, stand on your tippy toes, give him a kiss on the head. Uh, and he's. He lets you do it. He's not happy about having found you in his room, looking through his stuff, bringing up memories that he'd much rather forget. Why does he have a cork board with the memories in his room? Covered it was covered, get... to be fair. Yeah, it was covered. It was put behind something. I'm gonna say you can get the you get the um get the idea that he's had it since it happened. Like it never. A lot of the stuff in the castle has been left alone, especially anything that had anything to do with his, like, parents on it has been left. Don't touch it. Same reason why he won't take the title of king. Uh, what? We didn't mean to be here. I I'm not sure that. why we were sent here. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, but if it's okay with all of you, I would appreciate it if everyone got out of my room. That's fair. Cool. Cool, cool. And that's, I think, you guys all kind of being herded out um, as politely as you can with not being happy with you. Uh, I would like to pause in the doorway and just turn to him with, you know, big, big, sorrowful kitty eyes and just say, Puss in Boots eyes. Mm -hmm. Prince, Puss in Boots eyes. <laughs> Prince Eltrian, I'm very sorry for your loss. Not just personally, but for everything your whole country has been through. We will do everything we can to prevent further catastrophe and if there's anything we can do to help the situation, we will do our best. You have my help. And he... He does kneel down to give you a little scritch. Hmm. Um, he is a cat person. Uh, I, I will actually go further than usual and just... You know when a cat sort of stands up on its back mm -hmm. feet and does this... Um, Aww. I'll, just, Aww. I'll just give him a little kitty hug and then you give him a little kitty hug he he scratches your ear um and that's where we will call the session uh gg guys Ooh. you got through everything i had planned in one session holy that's shit a, how did that, that happen so <laughs> yeah, we never do that yeah considering <laughs> how many uh shenanigans and peanut galleries we engaged in that's impressive <laughs> our, our can of banana our can, our of, can banana. of banana i'm so i'm so excited for them uh <laughs> i'm gonna take that one to tiktok and and we're gonna like make the best band ever yeah it, it sounds amazing um i am i see stars and i have been your shenanigan sovereign this evening uh katie I am Katie. I am Dungeon Mistress Katie and all the things. And I have been Rosalind Alara this evening, who might have to have a talk with her boyfriend later. <laughs> um, a talk? <laughs> uh, well, I don't think he'll be interested in a talk tonight, but an yeah, actual talk might be are dead. an actual talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scarlet. Uh, hi, I'm Scarlet. Uh, you can find me on Twitch tomorrow. We're playing Out of the Abyss. It's my two years long actual play with some of the best D and D players I've ever met. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram, making silly content about TTRPGs and uh, lots of my art doodles. And you can adopt some dessert dragons on my Etsy and my website. 
uh, what my website uh scarlet.com uh star have you gone nope go ahead hi i'm star i've been cappy this evening and uh you can find me at star mama c on tiktok everywhere else i am characters without stories because that is the name of my podcast where i interview people who have who interview people about char- characters they have not had a chance to play yet yes um and uh yeah i'll pass it over to juniper I'm Juniper, Linen and Spice most places. I've been Clover tonight, our little tabaxi cleric. Um, And if you want to watch me playing Naturally Shattered tomorrow, catch me on the Shattered Tabletop Games uh, channel tomorrow evening. And back to Ice Knee Stars. That's it. Bye, guys. We'll see you later. (laughs) I'm going to finish my drink. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Bye, guys.